Third year cornerback Nate Hobbs is one of the most disrespected Raiders players in my opinion. And it's crazy to me that people don't realize that Nate Hobbs is one of the better slot defenders in the NFL. And Nate Hobbs is not an outside cornerback. He isn't Darrell Revis. He isn't Namdi Asamoa. He is a slot defender. His role is a lot different than what you'd expect from an outside cornerback. And I say this guy's the most disrespected cornerback because I'm seeing people on social media talking about possibly replacing Nate Hobbs, possibly moving on from him this season. And to me, that makes no sense. So today we're going to break down the tape of the 2023 season that Nate Hobbs is having. And I think most of you guys will agree with me by the end of this video that Nate Hobbs is a massive asset for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now this season so far, Pro Football Focus says that Nate Hobbs has given up 45 catches for 411 yards. So let's go ahead and get into Nate Hobbs' ability to cover because I think that's one of the question marks that a lot of people have. You know, Hobbs as a cornerback is expected to cover, right? Let's just be honest. That's one of his primary responsibility. And on this one, he does a really nice job recognizing the play. So one of the things that the Miami Dolphins love to do is throw these quick one-step drop where the wide receivers break to the inside and Hobbs watching tape is able to make the play on this one. And this one's going to be an incomplete pass. Uh, this was first and 10, but this is kind of what Hobbs brings to the Raiders. You know, Nate Hobbs is one of those guys that I know 100% watches tape. And he knows that because of the tight formation at the top of the screen, one of the things that could happen with the receiver here is he can run a quick in. That's exactly what he's going to do on this one. And Nate Hobbs is going to react. He's going to break the pass up. And to me, that's a really, really nice job by Nate Hobbs. And that's not the only time that he's done a good job in coverage. Uh, here's another play where he's lined up against Garrett Wilson. This is second and four. And Wilson's running a deep route, and Hobbs is going to be all over it, and he's going to actually break the pass up. Uh, and Trayvon Merrick does a great job being the safety to rotate over the top. Uh, this is cover three, and he's going to lay a really, really nice hit on Wilson as well. Uh, you guys can see the play from the end zone angle here. We'll slow it down as the ball's in the air. Once again, Hobbs is going to be all over it. Great job in coverage. Turns the head towards the football and makes a play on the football. And, of course, Trayvon Merrick lays a really nice hit on Garrett Wilson as well. Let's get into the next snap. This is a very impressive play here by Nate Hobbs. He's in man-to-man -man coverage. This is cover one based off the safety and the man-to-man -man players across the board. The Steelers are actually going to try to pick off Nate Hobbs. They're going to kind of run these routes. And they're going to get Calvin Austin. The guy that actually beat Marcus Peters deep earlier on in the game for a 70-plus yard touchdown, they're going to try to pick off Nate Hobbs. And Hobbs does a great job just slipping past these guys, staying over the top and breaking the pass up on this wide receiver. That's a really, really, really nice shot by Hobbs. One of the things that Hobbs has to do within this play as he's in man coverage over here to the right of the screen is he has to navigate the traffic that's kind of happening. He has to stay over the top. And on this one, he's over the top. The quarterback kind of throws it low. And Hobbs does make a play on the football. You can't really see from that angle. Uh, but you'll see on this one, once again, Hobbs is going to navigate the traffic, get past it. And to me, this is beautiful to be able to run the way he runs with the wide receiver here. Turns the head, finds the football, and makes a play on the football. Uh, this season so far, Nate Hobbs has a total of six pass breakups. And that actually might not be factual if you look at Pro Football Focus. Uh, if you go to their website, they only have Nate Hobbs breaking up three passes but as i've already shown you guys three of them here's the fourth one hobbs once again man to man coverage i believe that's the tight end this time and this one's third and eight and he does a really 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 nice shot playing this uh, to me when it matters nate hobbs has shown that he can step up and get it done right when the raiders need nate hobbs to make a play he's been able to make a play right third and eight this is a key moment of the game. The Raiders are currently down 23 to 15. We're down by eight points. And if they pick up a first down on Nate Hobbs here with less than five minutes left, you may not get another chance to get the football back. And again, the Raiders are playing man-to-man -man coverage. Nate Hobbs is all over this tight end. He plays it underneath. He has safety help over the top. And he's right there to break the pass up. To me, that is beautiful by Nate Hobbs right there. To be able to make the play on the football the way he does here really, really impresses me. The guy has good ball skills in man-to-man -man coverage. I know it's not perfect, but the guy has made plays this season. Check out this next fourth and one. You're going to see Hobbs lined up here in the slot. And look at him make a play on the tight end on this one. He's going to run and he's going to be able to hit the ball and knock it. Now this is fourth and one against the Buffalo Bills. Now, do keep in mind, this is red zone defense, so it's not a cover one or a cover three the way you would 
if the ball was not in the red zone. So Hobbs doesn't necessarily have to play man-to-man coverage on this one. Uh, I think he does end up doing it because he sees that Knox ends up getting open. So to me, that's a really, really nice job. And it's a heads-up play by Nate Hobbs because the tight end is initially open. And Hobbs is going to get in there and he's going to force the incompletion. As you can see, he makes a play on the football. Go to the end zone angle here. Uh, You'll see the quarterback's going to throw the ball. And Nate Hobbs, once again, gets in there and he's going to break the pass up. So to me, that's a really, really nice shot by Nate Hobbs right there. You know, this one right here is fourth and one. And you got Nate Hobbs lined up one on one against Tyreek Hill. As I mentioned, Nate Hobbs is one of those guys that watches tape. So he knows when Tyreek Hill is going to go into motion, there's only a couple of things that could happen. One of those is a quick screen pass and Nate Hobbs sees it and he blows it up. This was fourth and one right here. Tyreek Hill gets blown up. By Nate Hobbs, the sure tackler, and the play ends up being a turnover on downs. And I know it's not technically a turnover, quote unquote, but it's a turnover on downs. It doesn't get better than that. Zero points out of this drive for the Miami Dolphins because Nate Hobbs recognizes what's kind of happening in front of him. Hill goes in motion. He's kind of whipping it back to the outside and Nate Hobbs blows the play up. To me, that's a really, really nice job on fourth and one by the third year cornerback. Check this play out. Nate Hobbs is going to be in coverage. Uh, Watch him recognize the play on this one and do a really, really nice job getting underneath it. The quarterback is going to target him, and it's going to be a forced incompletion. Uh, These are the plays that I think sometimes are overlooked because technically, as the quarterback throws the ball, it's an incomplete pass. No one thinks twice about this play. No one's going to realize that it's Nate Hobbs that actually forced the incompletion because not only is he going to make sure that he has this run fit, but when he does recognize that this is a true pass, He's going to get into his zone. And in this instance, he has the curl flats. He is playing cover three and he's all over it. And this is an incomplete pass here because Nate Hobbs would have picked it if the quarterback did not throw it as far out as he did. The quarterback threw it a little bit closer to the wide receiver. It's an interception by Nate Hobbs. So that's a really, really nice job right there. And I want to go ahead and just go through a couple more targets of Nate Hobbs in coverage. And then we'll switch into some of his run defense. This is a really, really nice job by Hobbs on third and three to stick to the wide receiver. On this one, the quarterback ends up rolling out and Nate Hobbs ends up having to adjust himself, turn his body and run with the wide receiver on this one. And he does a phenomenal job. I mean, not only is he all over on the initial route, the wide receiver has no separation. But as the receiver is going to turn and run towards Mahomes, who turned to the right and started rolling out, Hobbs is still all over it. He's going to turn his body and run with this guy stride for stride. And even if Patrick Mahomes here was not pressured or hit and he actually threw the ball to Nate Hobbs, Hobbs would have been all over it, right? I don't think that one right there would have been completed regardless because in my opinion, Nate Hobbs did a really, really nice job in coverage. And again, there's so many snaps like this. So let's go ahead and just get into a couple more. Here's another one. Nate Hobbs is going to be in man-to-man coverage, lined up over the wide receiver. Great job just kind of running with this guy. He's going to stay over the top. He's not going to get beat on this one. The receiver does push him a little late right there, and he is able to kind of break away. But Nate Hobbs is a really nice job driving on the football as the ball's in the air, and the wide receiver is not going to be able to bring it down. So again, great job on third and six by Nate Hobbs to be able to force the incompletion. Final play in coverage of Nate Hobbs. Uh, the Bills are going to design a play to directly target Hobbs. The Raiders are in cover four, so Hobbs is responsible for this one based off of his zone coverage. You can see the wide receiver running a whip route to the outside and Hobbs is all over it. I mean, it does not get better than that one. And Josh Allen basically just throws the ball away. To me, this is a beautiful, beautiful job once again by Nate Hobbs. Just all over it, right? And you can see Josh Allen looks right at Nate Hobbs. and You'll see it as he snaps the football. Here comes the whip route. He's going to turn the head and look at the receiver right there. And the receiver is going to be covered. So Josh Allen just kind of rolls out of there and he eventually just throws the ball away. It's a really, really nice job once again by Nate Hobbs. Now, as I've stated that pro football focus stats aren't necessarily accurate. Uh, Here's an example of why they're not really accurate. On this one, Nate Hobbs is actually going to do a positive thing, in my opinion. But pro football focus actually says this is, you know, one target, one catch for one yard against Nate Hobbs. Uh, So statistically, this actually counts as a catch, even though it's a screen pass against Nate Hobbs because he's the closest player. Uh, And to take that statement right there a step further this one at the top of your screen is also going to count against nate hobbs and you can see there's nothing nate hobbs could have done in fact i would argue that's a positive play for nate hobbs because he takes on two blockers but pff once again will give nate hobbs 
credit for a reception for nine yards on this one. And that doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. So I just wanted to make that point that PFF's not very reliable in that instance. Now, these next ones, in my opinion, are very subjective. I want you guys to check some of these catches out. You guys can see Hobbs is in the slot. The Chiefs are going to run this double reverse to Patrick Mahomes. And you're going to see Travis Kelsey going to catch a 23-yard pass. This one actually gets credited to Nate Hobbs. Now, I think most of us can look at this play and agree that, you know, it's not 100% on Nate Hobbs to have to make this play. Right, because Hobbs also has a run fit within these type of plays. He's a slot defender after all. Right now, yes, Nate Hobbs does recognize the play, and maybe he should have ran with Travis Kelsey as opposed to taking the other running back there. But there is also a cornerback behind Nate Hobbs. Right. So to me, I just want to point out that this 23 yard pass is, is is subjective as to who should be credited with the actual catch. This is gonna be the final play that we're gonna look at where Nate Hobbs doesn't get credited for the catch. I think this is the worst one, to be honest with you guys, because Nate Hobbs is nowhere near this. Uh, Hobbs is actually going to get credited for this catch that Tyreek Hill is going to make way far away from Hobbs. Hobbs isn't even the closest three defenders, in my opinion, uh, but he gets credited for this catch. And some of you guys may say, how do you know he's been credited with this catch? Uh, I actually have access to Pro Football Focus's data. You can click it. It takes you directly to these plays. So when they say he gave up a catch, I can click it. It takes you to the play. This was the play that they credited Nate Hobbs with. Uh, and I wanted to just make the point of these last few videos because this is part of what some people are using against Nate Hobbs, right? They're looking at some of his stats and they're saying the guy's not having that good of a season. But the truth is, is he's having a phenomenal season and we've only looked at his coverage so far. Let's transition and look at some of his run defense as well as him blitzing. In my opinion, Nate Hobbs makes his money as a run defender. As a guy that can blitz off the edge and those type of things. Uh, Nate Hobbs is a very, very good football player. And I'm not talking about cornerback. I'm talking about a general football player. Nate Hobbs is it. Uh, I know some people are going to hold maybe some of his coverage against him. But I think Nate Hobbs should be a true slot defender. I know he's played a lot on the outside for the Raiders. Uh, but he should be an inside cornerback. He should not be playing on the outside. Because these are the type of things he, he can do, right? He'll recognize the play. He'll come up. He'll make the play. Here's another really, really nice play by Hobbs. Uh, he's going to be lined up in the slot on this one. Uh, he has, you know, uh, to me, number 82, the wide receiver, has a super simple down block on Hobbs. This is part of why I think as a slot defender, Nate Hobbs has massive upside, right? Number 82, super simple down block on Nate Hobbs. He has the angle. And Hobbs is going to just kind of twitch right past this guy. I mean, look at that. He straight up just makes number 82 miss. And I know the play would have been made regardless by the two guys here. But to me, these are the little things that Nate Hobbs does that, to me, make me feel like as a slot defender, a guy that defends the run, as a natural playmaker, he has it. You can see this play here. Watch him recognize and realize what's happening within this play. This is a two-point conversion. He's going to blow the play up. All right, open field, him against this, this guy right here. Straight up just tackles his ass. Again, this is what Nate Hobbs brings to the Las Vegas Raiders. He's a sure tackler. He's smart. He understands football. And this is part of why I think the Raiders should put him back in the slot and let him naturally just kind of go out there and make plays. You got another one here against the run. Hobbs is going to step up, make the play. Uh, both him and Trayvon Merrick kind of get in there at the same time. Again, really nice job being able to recognize what's happening out in front of him. Seeing that the down block's happening, he's the guy that has to step up and make the play. On this one, he definitely is able to do it. On this next one here, you're going to get a zone run to the right. And Hobbs, once again, is going to jump it and be able to just kind of get in there and make the play. This one right here ended up losing a yard. Again, Nate Hobbs stepping up, making these plays against the run. Uh, it's part of why I think the guy has the upside to be a really, really good player. I think the Raiders should make sure they keep Nate Hobbs around. You know, we've seen certain guys like Danico Autry, Khalil Mack, and more recently guys like Mohurst and Arden Key start to flash in like years four, five, and six. Uh, and those are the type of role players that you have to keep on your team. And I think Nate Hobbs is a phenomenal role player. I think if a team wants to win a Super Bowl, if you had 10 Nate Hobbs paired up with one Max Crosby, you're going to have a top tier defense, right? Because that's the type of player Nate Hobbs is. He's smart. He's aggressive. He's good generating pressure, right? Or you can blitz him off the edge and uh, he's smart, right? He knows kind of what he's doing. Uh, so to me, Nate Hobbs is one of those guys you definitely want on your team. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up with these final two plays. 
On this one, he's going to recognize a screen. He's going to make the play on Javante Williams. Great job right here by Hobbs. Recognizes the screen. Uh, to me, one of the things Hobbs does well is play around the line of scrimmage. And I think we've seen that a number of times over the past three seasons. But the one thing I want Nate Hobbs to continue to try to do is force turnovers. Uh, he has an interception, and then he has this play here where he forces a fumble. A smart play, right? Nate Hobbs is a smart player. I want him to just kind of continue to thrive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. This video took a, a lot of time to make. A lot of moving parts within this video. Uh, so subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time with another video.